Welcome to Electro Online. In the previous video, we saw that the integral of dx over a squared minus x squared was equal to this. But if you look it up in an integral table, you may also find this as the answer to that integral. And then the question is, are those two answers actually equal? Of course they are, but how can we know that? Well, it turns out that the, the definition of the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x is equal to one half the natural log of one minus x, oh no, that's one plus x over one minus x. And of course, we're carrying that x would be smaller than, so we can write that x squared would be smaller than one, so that the denominator doesn't become negative. So if this is the, the definition of the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x, what would it be for x over a? So let's replace every x by x over a and see what we get. So the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x over a is equal to 1 half times the natural log of, and here we're going to replace every x by x plus a, or x divided by a, I should say, and then if we write that over common denominator, this can then be written as 1 half times the natural log of, so that would be a plus x over a divided by a minus x over a. And then you realize that the a's cancel out, so this becomes equal to 1 half times the natural log of a plus x over a minus x. Now that would be the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x over a. Now when we take a look at what we have here, and we take a look at what we have over here, we almost have the same thing. So if I write this as 1 over a on the left side, I can then write this as 1 over a on the right side. So I'm going to multiply. Let me use a different color. So I'm going to multiply this by 1 over a on the left side, and then I can multiply this by 1 over a on the right side. So now I have 1 over a times the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x over a is equal to 1 over 2a times the natural log of a plus x divided by a minus x. And then take a look here. This is exactly what I have over there. So this must be equal to 1 over a times the hyperbolic tangent of x over a, which is what I have over there. So it looks like they are equal, and that's how we know that. That's how it's done.